okay? And I've, I'm usually getting, I'll get my clearance, maybe get maybe ATIS and stuff like that. And so as a captain, I'm gonna go through a few flows here for myself. I'm gonna make sure a few things, right? So looking at switches. Okay, nav should be on, right? Because the battery master is on. Okay, got these in the envir off position. This is off. I don't have any of the high electrical load ones you gotta worry about, right? Because that's gonna kill the battery, okay? So we're gonna do a normal start, so props will be forward. We have this fuel cut off. Wanna make sure that's there. Okay, so I'm ready and now I'm gonna say before start check. And so you're gonna read out the left and I'll give you the answer on the right. Park brake and trucks. Set and removed. Cabin door. Is secure, lights are out. Passenger briefing. Complete. Fuel caps. Secure left. And you'll look out and say secure right. Secure right. Okay. Power levers. Idle. Prop levers. Forward. Condition levers. Fuel cut off. Bleed air. Viro off. Uh, battery master. Is on. Volt load meter. Is checked. Fuel. Is 1,500 pounds sufficient. Engine anti-ice. Is extended. Nav beacon. Now on. Exterior check. So you say number two clear, no plugs, no ties. Number two clear, no plugs, no ties. So now I say starting number two. So this is what's going to happen. So we'll walk, talk, I'll, walk, I'll do it and describe what's going on. So I take my right ignition, I keep my hand on it. I go into the up position. Right ignition light. Spool up. We're waiting for what percentage again? 16. 16. So there's 16 stable. I go to fuel cutoff and I crack it. Holding. Waiting, fuel flow. See where the fuel flow is? Reasonable. Good. Initial light off, coming up. There's the secondaries, a little early today. Watching the ITT. It will go above the red line. Let's see how it kind of goes up. 50% comes off. See how that all went? Okay, really straightforward. I let stabilize a little bit. Okay, that's just from momentary fuel pressure of the bridging. So now I'm going to go to high idle, right? High idle. Just pulling up the number on compressor to approximately 70 percent. Okay, we're good. So now I can charge the battery. So number two generator, right? On, hold, let go. Light goes out. So now I'm going to look up and see do I have about 20 percent. So it looks like. I mean, these are not the greatest gauges, but you're getting an idea. So now we're waiting for a load of what? Now we're looking at load. So is the load telling me? I'm below four. So I'm like, I'm good, right? Now, I, I, now the one thing I really got to make sure is I turn that off. Okay, so I start the second, now another engine with that on, we're going to fry everything, right? So now I go off. And of course, I get a master caution because of that, and that's normal. So now we're going to do something very similar. So I got number one clear, no plugs, no ties, start number one. So ignition, starts, light, rotation. Look for approximately 16%. But instead of adding the fuel first, I now go to that number two generator. On, lights out, add the fuel, hold on to it. Watch for the light off. This is the generator assistant start. Meaning, Secondary should kick in any second. There's a secondary, so you can hear it. Fuel flow is still good. 50% comes off. Now I'm still high idle, I don't need that anymore. So what I do is I just. It's uh, a lot, okay? So now, we need a current limiter check, right? Because remember when we did that, we want to make sure it didn't bleed through that isolation bus and perhaps a little current limiter. So I'm going to look up here. Look at that. We're good. Okay? So now. Number one gen. Light goes out. Do another check. Still got 28. Good. So that completes a stable engine start. So now I'm gonna turn, now we just go through a flow and start turning everything on. So inverter, we usually do like odd and even. Today he's number one today. Okay. Emox master. Ta-da! We'd open up our bleeders. Okay, light the others go out. Put that on that. Let's get some heat going on in here. Okay, flaps, well, we have them down, but normally, I, I, normally after my walk around, I usually retract them. But because we don't have them, we're gonna bring those up. Check to stop them, remember that? So let's just go down all the way second here. Remember on the earliest serial numbers, what happens? See how it, did, it didn't do anything? Right. Okay, in the sim, it won't do that. In the sim, if you do that, it will go to 40. Because that was a bad design flaw. So normally, 
you have to do is you have to go like you're down here and you're like go around max power flap 40 you have to go like this pause it right you're up got that and then stop at 40 and then bring it up it's really stupid <laughs> thankfully they fixed that in later sale numbers okay so we got the flaps up so there's a few tests like you ought to do also by the way i have my feet on the brake i have parking brake set never trust it okay always keep your feet on the brakes so we need to do a pressure check pressurization check we can't do that without the leaders but we got that let's go okay 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 garmin yes there you go garmin so what we're going to do now is i'm going to turn the rate to max dial this down to like i don't know 2,000 feet of where we are that's a low right makes it max so i go to test and i find give it a bit of juice now watch the cabin climb see that that's all you got to see that's that tells you the pressurization system will work so i'll return them see how the other rate knob is at about that position i find that's the best to give you a reasonable climb climb and if we were going to, if we were flying like 220 today, we would set this to 230. 230. So you take your out knob, probably 230. Saying like, sorry, sorry, sorry. You look, you look at the out one, this one too, and you kind of look, draw a line, and there's 23. So that is tested and set. Okay. So I did that. Now I'm gonna check my brake the ice because remember I gotta cycle your brake the ice. So I go on, brake trace is on. That's good. Okay, it comes off. Now if you look at your pneumatic gauge too, watch this. See how it changes? That's another way you can test it too, right? Because I tested that, I got the light, but I know it's working because of that. Okay, so then the ice boots. One, two, three, four, five, six. Walk, look, bump. That's how you know the tail inflates, right? That's the only way you can tell. So you're done. Yeah, you can hear the switch at the back. I can, but I, the yeah. only thing you guys gotta watch it, right? Yeah. So you're looking, making sure of that. So I've tested that, kind of. That's like your afterflow stuff. Now it's not considered part of your 24 hour checks. We just do that as our flow. We've got that out of the way. And then we're gonna go taxi. And I'm gonna show you the 24 hour checks. Then I'm gonna shut her down. Then we're gonna swap seats. Okay. And I'm gonna get you to do it all. All right. All righty. Okay, so if you got a headset, we can plug in. 